How's it going for Rachel? and welcome back to my video <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited because yes, it is Trader Talk once again So if you're just joining me for the first time Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to showcase to you guys what is popping right now in the Forex market So the idea is for me to share with you guys the best trading opportunities, we analyze them together and then you take what I've analyzed, use that as a guide to put money in your pocket, bruv. <laughs> now, if you don't know my name, my name is Dapo Willis. Uh, probably come across me on some ads, probably seen my YouTube video, or you probably just see me talking about Forex somewhere randomly on the internet. It is me, it is I, and today I'm gonna to be jumping into my screen and showcasing some pretty nice setups I've been looking at lately. Now, um, I've, I've pretty much stayed away from Trader Talk for the last three to four weeks because I needed to allow the market breathe. You guys know how I like to trade. I like to give the market time for it to fulfill everything it needs to, it needs to fulfill. Take out all the stop losses it needs to take out because you know traders who are not patient are the traders who always get stopped out. We are the patient traders. We are the smart traders we are the top down analysis traders and that's why we decided to take some time off the market although i was in a gdp jpy trade and i think that's about it. i was in a gdp jpy trade and i was in a gold trade which i'm going to be showing to you guys shortly so i was in these trades made a lot of money and while the market was working for me i decided to what take some time to chill let me adjust my shirt when i adjust my car i took some time out to relax Okay guys, so yes, I'm gonna be taking you guys into my screen just about now, but before I do that, I wanted to quickly state something. So, my YouTube channel, if you haven't subscribed, I encourage you guys to go ahead and subscribe right now before I get into the video. It is very important that you subscribe so that one, you don't miss out on amazing trading opportunities like this, and two, if you have noticed, I have started to do videos about very, very profitable and simple concepts. Now, most people are like, oh, but that concept is too simple. Guys, the truth is a lot of traders in the past read about baby pips. You know, they tried to trade the strategies on baby pips. For example, trend line bounds, moving average and all that. They abandoned all those things because they felt like the complicated way was to go or was the best way to go about it. This is what they failed to realize that if you stick with those strategies long enough, you start to understand, learn and understand what segment of that strategy okay what for example take moving average what moving average number actually works the best on what time frame should you be using it and what pairs should you be using it on so guys recently and most recently on my youtube channel i have been putting out a lot of concepts that you're already familiar with but guess what i'm actually showing you guys how to use it properly on what time frame do you use your moving average on what time frame do you trade a trend line bounce not at every time frame and let's take something like um an elliott wave pattern there's something called the xte wave which i just released recently it doesn't work on every freaking every freaking chart it's not every single pair is going to work on so what i have done recently is i've taken very basic concept and over the years i've been trading for 13 years i have literally used every single concept in the book and i've tested it across every single market you can think about and now i have literally come back on here to show you guys this concept works for this pair this time frame works best for this pair and this time frame or this time zone works best for this market that's exactly what i've been doing lately so guys if you know you're tired of the most complicated way to trading you're just sick of it and you just want to go back to the basics and use the basics to just make money in the forex market smash the subscribe button right there because dapo willis has got you forget about all this fair value gap and all that it's all noise let's go back to the basics and let's use the because it gives you peace of mind you can sleep all at night right let's use the basics to extract money from the forex market so enough of the talk i'm going to jump into my chart right about now ladies and gentlemen let's go welcome 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 inside of my screen obviously this is where i come to show you guys what exactly is popping in the forex market like you know as we go into the new quarter of the year, this is actually the last quarter of the year. This is officially your last chance for you guys to redeem your trading for the year. And that's why I'm here. Dapa Willis is here to save your trading year. Yes, Dapsy Radio, you heard it here first. I'm here to deliver you from all the Forex witches. <laughs> 
Uh, guys, so obviously, like I said, welcome into my screen. What I have in front of me right about here is GBP JPY. Um, GBP JPY last week, uh, about a week and a half ago, went on to make me a significant amount of money. I think I made over a hundred thousand US dollars shot in GBP JPY. It was an amazing and fantastic trade. Um, ideally, I wanted to start off with GBP JPY um, because I feel like it's pretty juicy at the moment. But I have something even juicier. I was going over the majors, um, which is Euro USD and uh, Euro USD and AUD USD, um, and I started to notice some. Something very interesting that I need to bring to your attention first I feel like there are a lot more trading opportunities there GBP JPY is kind of like I'm gonna go over this next week actually during my next trader talk video um, but GBP JPY is setting up pretty nicely for something that looks like a obviously at least another leg to the downside to come and complete somewhere around here so if you see GBP JPY drop off all the way into one 80.198 know that is perfectly normal i think we're gonna have like a, a a triangle pattern form somewhere around here we should obviously drop all the way down here um so yeah gbp jpy i might go over it a bit in more detail towards the end of the video but what is actually exciting me right now is AUD USD, AUD USD and euro dollar okay um, so I'm going to do a quick top-down analysis on this, a quick top-down analysis on this so that you guys can have a fair idea as to what exactly is going on uh, on AUDUSD. So AUDUSD, as you can clearly tell, um, top-down analysis is basically us working our way from the higher time frame all the way down to, oh guys, before I carry on, ensure to smash the subscribe button smash the subscribe button right there, go ahead and subscribe so that you don't meet, like guys Every other person on their YouTube channel just shows fancy cars, shows words of cash, and just talks about hypothetical stuff. Oh, how I flipped this, how I did this. I'm showing you how to do it actually, like the day-to-day -day stuff of actually reading the charts. Like it's, it's one thing to just say, oh, I made this and I made that. I'm actually showing you and holding your hand and directing you what to do or what not to do with actual real chart stuff. So this is where you actually get the best value for your time. On the learn forex channel so go learn forex with dapo willis channel so go ahead and smash the subscribe button right there so that you don't miss out on videos like this now um back to what i was saying so what i like to do is something called the top down analysis it's called the top down top down methodology so where i go from the highest time frame and i walk my way down to the four hour where i eventually execute my trade now top down analysis we have to kick off on the monthly time frame now, as you can see, AUDUSD on the monthly time frame um, looks pretty much bearish. Now, I've been shorting AUDUSD for the longest time. However, we came into um, not point six, not point, not point six four hundred, and unfortunately, we've been unable to break lower. So, I was expecting this bad boy to come all the way down here. That didn't happen. Um, we tried to attempt it again. That didn't happen. Attempted again. That didn't happen. Blah 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 blah. So, I mean, when you see, oh shoot, when you see a particular level like this, and don't forget this level has held significantly in the past, okay, this was a bullish move to the upside. This level has actually, this level has actually caused a full scale reversal of almost how many pips? This is looking like almost 3,000 pips. When you see a level do that before in the past, you need to pay attention to it in the future. Now, um, <clears throat> so we're currently sitting on this level right about here. And from what I can see, I can, you know, AUDUSC is officially starting to show me signs of a trend reversal. Okay. This is looking like a clear trend reversal to me um, because, as you can see, we failed to break here once, twice, a third time, and fourth time. And if you look at these candles, this, this lows here, we have a low. This low is higher than this one, and this one is higher than this one. So we've had three consecutive higher lows, three consecutive higher lows on this support level, and we're currently pointing all the way to the upside. Now, that for me is an absolute no-brainer telling me that hey um obviously we might potentially be having a market reversal to the upside now if i draw the inner trend line okay you see i i do my analysis on a higher time frame first as you can see if i draw my inner trend line like so so i will need to come to the weekly to see the tips of of this okay and as you can see pretty nicely um and as you can see pretty nicely we have 
this this is a clear breakout retest continuation to the upside and we have pretty much broken above here so ladies and gentlemen what i can say to you without any iota of doubt is AUD USD is looking for a potential reversal to the upside now this green bar is here i'm going to delete this green bar now right about here so this is the bigger picture actually i'm looking for a bullish movement from somewhere around the 0.7 region which is somewhere around here all the way all the way up to the upside we might actually even potentially put push the 0.8 region because um hold on because AUD USD loves this round number so round numbers are any numbers that go from 0 point, 0 point 700, 0 point 0.800 or 900 every 1000 pips is a round number so AUD USD is looking like a full-blown reversal right about here now um, obviously we're gonna have some resistance all the way back to the upside which is absolutely natural and that's exactly why I put this green bar somewhere here so this green bar pretty much represents this level that obviously held previously in the past you cannot overlook it you cannot what you cannot overlook it okay that's that's the taboo for you to overlook this green region now now that i'm done with the monthly time frame i will then be going over to the weekly time frame now on the weekly time frame from what i can see pretty clearly is you can see there's a clear crossover the moving average has also showed me that so for the longest time for every time we try to reverse to the upside the 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 moving average had always been on top of the entire market movement acting as some form of a resistance right so you can see for every time we tried we tried we try even when we tried to reverse here it was still always trading underneath here the only time we tried to bridge it was here but even the smaller moving average was still beneath this for the first time in god knows how long for the first time in two years for the first time in two years we have the smaller moving average crossing over to the bigger bigger moving average i know everybody's wondering like since when did dapo really start using moving averages the truth is i bring out my moving averages when i can see a market has been in a period of consolidation for too long and when i start to see or feel a sense of trend reversal for me my moving averages just simply help me confirm my bias of a trend reversal that's what i use moving averages for um, i'm sure people are probably asking um what numbers what moving average is he using i'm going to do a full ass video on how to use your moving averages properly um and if you're watching this ladies and gentlemen um rest assured that provided you're watching this video you're in the best hands you're in the right hands um I, I, like i said I, I made a conscious effort to come on my youtube channel to absolutely come on here and provide you guys with the most transparent transparent forex education possible now um whilst i'm talking about transparency and forex education if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery program guys that program is one of the best because everything that you see that i'm using to analyze the market is in the program it just costs you 99 dollars the top down analysis how to flow from higher time frames all the way down to lower time frames is absolutely there so do yourself a favor and grab the program the link is in the description as always or well, i'm going to put it around here so actually check the description you'll see it right about there i'll be updating it as time goes on as always so do yourself a favor if you know you want to be able to analyze the market like this grab the forex mastery program enough said now do that right now the link is in the description don't forget grab it right now so back to what i was saying now for the first time in a very long time and this is why i was quite excited we can see the moving average crossing over to the upside and we can see this clear um this clear highs you know just pretty much pointing all the way to the upside which is pretty much very exciting to me we have one two and three some people say what about this one uh, this doesn't count this is a pullback for this this was actually an attempt on here um so we have one two three happened on the monthly time frame and as you can see we have what they call the breakout retest this was a retest continuation to the upside um, we've seen here we've also seen the market attempt this level here and then we pull back here and we use the um, we use the what do they call it the uh, moving average as support to 
blow all the way to the upside so now we've technically cleared the first level um the next level is looking like this green bar about here now i plotted this green bar on a higher time frame but because we're coming in to refine our reversal zones i can officially extend this all the way up here because technically speaking this is the most immediate reversal zone about here it still it still aligns with the higher time frame vision and values but it's looking like somewhere around here so on the weekly time frame i can see this bullish engulfing candle um which obviously closed um on friday at the time i'm recording this video is saturday 20, 28th of september 2024 um i can see a full scale reversal the bullish engulfing candle above this region about here so the question is how do you trade this so we've done the monthly the weekly now we we'll go over to the daily to try and see if we can identify the most immediate trend as you can see here now the daily time frame is a brilliant place to, for you to come and identify your overall uh, not overall your immediate trend so that you can use that to jump in to the market so daily time frame it has officially started pointing all the way to the upside um you can see there's a there's a there's an inner trend line somewhere around here so done with daily time frame i'll then come over to the four hour time frame to try and see if i can locate potential areas of potential pullbacks i would love to see a usd pullback for a potential uh, buy to the upside so if i come to the one hour which i hardly ever do um, which I hardly ever do. I'll be watching AUDUSD pretty closely. I need a significant pullback on this bad boy. Um, don't forget we have all this space to the upside. So primarily, my, my objective is to come and identify the direction, the flow, the trend of where exactly the market will most likely be heading to. And I can say without any iota of that, ladies and gentlemen, next level target for this bad boy um, will definitely be in the region of uh, 0.700, which is here, and then we'll obviously bridge all the way to the upside because, hey, this guy said so on the left-hand side. I'll just put this around here. This bad boy is what is most likely going to, this man is going to respect this bad boy somewhere around here, okay? So AUDUSD, you're hearing it here first on Dapsy Radio, 0.71342. Um, as you can see, I tried, the reason I don't really like to put moving averages is because it just messes up my charts, as you can see, but hey, it is what it is um yeah i see no reason why we shouldn't bleed all the way to the upside i'll be watching this market very closely on a four hour time frame and i will be waiting for potential entry points um all i'll simply be doing is i'll be looking for pullbacks that i'm familiar with you guys know i like to use the counter trend line pullback strategy um which i teach on the forex mastery program in chapter six um, once again, if you haven't grabbed the course, the link is in the description as always. I'm going to be using that to uh, look for a potential refined entry to jump on AUDUSD. But you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio, AUDUSD reversal all the way to 0 0.71342. Two, we might have some resistance at 0.700, which is a round number. Let me just actually earmark this pretty nicely. So these are going to be the two levels that AUDUS is going to obviously run into. Uh, without any issues but i honestly feel we'll blow past this because um if i do some calculation of this range um which is from here to here um this was this is pretty much the range because obviously the market range here for quite some time to so just I take the median which is here and i add this yeah definitely more than here so we'll definitely blow past this without a doubt even this median range is even showing somewhere probably higher but i would not be that optimistic i would be looking out for the market to come into this daily level um, because this is the most immediate resistance and supply zone which is here so this i will keep in one corner this will be my area of target okay here and here this not so much um but overall target is here so we're looking at a potential pip count of uh eight to one is what so we have about 350 potential pips to back on AUD usd i'll be refining my entries by the time this market is done forming for an entry um um it will take probably about the next couple of days maybe four to five days at least i'll be back on youtube with another video to talk about this so enough about AUD usd this is setting up pretty nicely it's looking very ripe for bullish momentum to the upside so the next no 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 that's wrong. The next pair I wanted to go over is Euro USD. So Euro USD is looking very similar 
to AUD USD. So Euro USD, I'm just gonna break it down for you guys from a monthly time frame perspective. Um, so from what I can see on the monthly time frame perspective, we have pushed down here, we pulled back, and we've just been unable to continue all the way downside. We've had a test of this level once, twice, um, and as you can see, as always, we've had for the for the second test, we've had uh, this coming short about here. If I come on the weekly time frame, that is most definitely a head and sh an inverse head and shoulder. Yep. This is definitely looking like an inverse. So we can see the head, the left shoulder, um, and then we can see, excuse me, and then we can see the right shoulder form all the way here. Um, for this, my neckline will be somewhere around here. Um, I just want to map this out. My neckline will be somewhere around here. So as you can see, a, a euro dollar is somewhat trying and struggling to break above this neckline um, and as you can see on the weekly time frame we have a clear cross to the upside although um, on the weekly time frame we've we've had so many zigzags up and down the whole place um, guys how you know a market is ranging is when your bigger moving average is just flat this is flat okay this is absolutely flat. So um, for the first time, we've had a proper clear of this moving average to the upside. So I'm going to be monitoring this pretty nicely. Um, so what is my overall target for euro dollar? Guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. I honestly feel like we might blow all the way to the upside. But as always, we're going to see some resistance as we blow all the way to the upside. Um, euro dollar, I am extremely bullish on this until being proven otherwise. Um, so from what I can see here is we've had this um, push up we have this we've had this pullback this bad boy is going to blow through this i see no reason why that shouldn't happen i'm actually a bit late to this euro usd party which is actually a fucking piss take <laughs> guys i i feel like I've, I've i've regained my skills back not like i regained my skills back i've just been busy um building willis capital those of you guys who do not know what willis capital is willis capital is the best prop firm out there um built by traders for traders ensure to grab an account at www.williscapital.com we have 10k 25k 50k and recently just launched 100k um, which is absolutely amazing so grab your trading account and jump on these trades okay so without a doubt i honestly feel like euro dollar is going to um this is what i expect is going to happen to euro dollar so we have this so i'm just going to delete this and i'm going to use this yellow bar somewhere around here Baby, 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 baby. Guys, if you're enjoying this, kindly drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you're enjoying this segment of my YouTube channel. This is where I obviously come on to obviously show you guys Wagwan. Wagwan with this whole game. So I'll be looking for a potential pullback into here and then a rally to the upside. Um, I see no reason why that shouldn't happen. Like, I'm so overly bullish on this. I don't know why. Dude, that really happens. It literally, really happens. So I'm just like I don't really care anymore, bro. I'm just I'm just going for it, bro. I'm just going for it, bro. You know I'm just going for it. So look, I'm honestly looking to bag like an eight to one. Um, so I I won't be putting any buy stops or buy orders around here. What I'm just gonna simply watch out for. I'm gonna watch out for a pullback into here potentially, and uh, maybe we might just sip into here. Now if I ever see. Two things are gonna happen to euro dollar we can just drop Psh. possible or we can come here act like we want to drop and then stop here and then the next thing you start to see a candle come all the way so i'll need to see a candle come and close all the way back up here um bullish candle and then uh, yeah pretty much you go my entries will go somewhere around here stop losses below the support level and i'll be gunning for the upside so these are my two favorite at the moment i'm looking at euro usd for a potential bullish reversal um why because uh it's just looking very it's looking this is it, these are all the signs of a reversal pattern like we're back this is a range broke it came back tested the bottom once twice now we're pointing all the way to the upside i see no reasons why especially on the monthly time frame uh, it's pointing all the way up to the upside there's no reason why that shouldn't happen and obviously we have a head and shoulder that form here so if i take the whole length and i join this let me expand this sorry and if i take this and i join this all the way to the upside 
um, we obviously clear all the way here. So I, I see no reason why Euro dollar should not actually be moving into actually uh, 1.1500, I would say, for Euro dollar. 1.1500 is a clear and nice concise place for us to be looking at potential targets the upside um we'll be watching this pretty nicely um, i'm also going to be releasing another video talking about refining entries how to use support and demand to jump into your trades but that video will only be exclusive to the forex mastery students as always so if you haven't grabbed the program ensure to do so the link is in the description as always um now last but not the least is gbp gold is gone Gold is gone. <laughs> Gold is gone. 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 Three thousand dollars an ounce, probably. That's the next round number. Gone. Uh, BTC. Let's see what BTC is saying. BTC is a bit confused at this region about here. <sighs> we'll see. We'll see. But this looks like a dangerous coil up for the upside. You know. It's a dangerous coil up. Like a dangerous coil of business, yo. Crypto is back in business. All those crypto boys. If this happens, crypto boys will not let us hear. Hey, God. <laughs> if this happens, crypto goes to 100k. Ha! Ah, they will be shouting. I told you guys. I told you guys. Bitcoin is the future. I told you guys. Bit, 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 Bitcoin is the future. I told. <laughs> they will let us rest. I promise you, they will let us rest. So whatever happens to bitcoin i'll probably have to do a full ass video on this later on um spx is gone as well um it's pretty much into the sky it's probably heading to six thousand basis point now last but not the least uh gbp jpy was what i actually wanted to go over pretty nicely now i'm gonna delete all this because i want to break everything down for you guys right now on gbp jpy because you guys saw me trade it on my twitter made a lot of money made up by 100k i want to explain to you guys why i did that um so what's happening with GBP JPY at the moment is GBP JPY has run into a major zone. Okay, this right here is a major zone. This is a major level right about here. We've run into it, and unfortunately, we failed to put in a significant high high. Now we've come back down here, and we're not trading back down below this. Now, are we going to break higher? That's a, that's a totally different ball game altogether i'm just going to clone this and identify this key levels pretty nicely um so that we can we're all on the same page okay um hold on let's identify some more look left Shh. baby would you give me some more now baby would you give me some more you got me saying ah, ah, ah. baby would you give me some more now so um monthly time frame for gbp jpy as you can see we pushed higher came down and we started to do this was a triple bottom we formed here and as you can see triple bottom formed nicely and then we came for this last one took a fucking piss take we went all the way to the upside blah 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 came here balance on top of this support level about here and shot all the way to the upside naturally next level target was going to be this major level about here we've come in here although we've tried to bridge it to the higher space um but it's not having it ideally gbp jpy should continue on its upward mo momentum but we need to respect whatever this level is telling us now what i simply did was i came to the weekly time frame to see what exactly was happening for gbp jpy and from what i could see we had a bridge over here but this level was holding pretty nicely we put this leg down here if there's anything i know about an instant and impulsive retracement is we would retrace and then come back to test the bottom of that let me retake let me ref let me say that again you see when anytime you see a, a nice uptrend like so and you see a sell-off like this um and then you see a quick profit taking about here what tends to happen is people who dropped all their money here for this sell-off induced more sellers to obviously get into the market now the sellers that go into the market made a lot of money so decided to do some profit taking and then the market obviously quickly retreats all the way back to the upside so a lot of profit taking will take place however the market will always find equilibrium so it will need to come and form a double bottom somewhere around here i knew that was happening so what did i simply do i came after the market retreats all the way to the upside i did i brought my counter trend line 
drew something like this bam sold somewhere around here and then the market dropped all the way to the downside and i took my money at the 100 percent retracement which is somewhere around here now what is happening to gbp jpy in a nutshell i'm going to explain that to you guys um what i personally feel is going to happen to this bad boy is this market needs to come and settle somewhere around here yes for gbp jpy you see the market is not linear okay we will need as we've broken above here we've come down here and all that if this market is going to continue heading to the upside we will need to form some form of a base even if it's somewhere here okay we will need to form a base a period of consolidation um because this was a massive sell-up we must definitely have some movement to the, to the to sideways so what i'm going to be doing is simple i will draw my counter trend line like so and expect this market to play this triangle for probably a considerable amount of time um so if you want to jump in gbp jpy be smart about it it's nothing it's not that serious uh, i can tell you for free that gbp jpy will drop um <laughs> it will drop at least all the way down here we will come and complete so this is looking like an x to e wave so x to a to b to c to d will probably come and complete somewhere around here if i just remove this um i mean it's, it's, it's not that deep you know gbp jpy um it's looking like it wants to come into this range to be honest it's, it's about to, it's looking like it wants to go into a range i don't think this bad boy is leaving you know it's 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 it's, it's trapped <laughs> is trapped by this boy so we need to you know you, you guys know what happens i mean look at this market would obviously come and do some sideways before it comes down here you know, look at this it will come and do some sideways and shoot up sideways shoot up so you know we've come if we're going to come down here we'll do sideways before it drops or you do sideways before it goes up it's just the way the market goes it's so annoying but you need to perfect your range trading you know mentality i think if more traders perfected their range trading mentality they'll be a lot more profitable so yeah gbp jpy expects some more for the sell-offs um i see no reason why that shouldn't happen um i'll be monitoring these trades uh this pairs along uh with my other one so gbp jpy goes up high all the way up uh with my AUD, euro usd and gbp jpy i'll just be playing with gbp jpy dropping sales taking it to the upside for buy sales and all that stuff so ladies and gentlemen thank you for sticking around for this very lengthy video i'll be doing another one in exact actually the next video i'll be dropping is the falling knife strategy which i drop next week saturday the falling knife strategy is a strategy that i use to extract a lot of money from the market you don't want to miss that video it's a trading strategy right and i used the falling knife it was the falling knife strategy i actually used for this jbp jpy trade i caught it at the top my sales were somewhere around here and woof to the downside so you want to learn how to do that watch this channel subscribe to it watch out for it next week saturday and show to be here same time same place and i'll catch you guys okay so guys love you guys very much take it easy peace out and i'll catch you guys in my other screen subscribe to the channel get the forex mastery program click the bell icon and i'll see you guys same time same place next week bye see you guys on my other screen let's go Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. Not that long, actually, but um, you get the point. It was quite long because I had to break down some charts here and there. I'd like to say I love you guys very much. And thank you for rocking with me as, as always. My name is Dapper Willis. And if you haven't, smash the subscribe button right there. Ensure to do so. Don't miss out on all these amazing pips you should be catching. Once again, I love you guys very much. Take it easy and peace out.